Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin and today I'm going to be doing a, another challenge video. This is a challenge that I don't believe I've ever seen done before, so I think it's a first, but if it's not, definitely let me know down below so I can give that person credit. But I'm excited because we're going to be doing a full face of different brands. So the challenge is that you can't repeat the same brand at all. Um, I know for some like bigger YouTubers this probably wouldn't be that hard, but for somebody with, for me, like me that doesn't have a huge collection, like I definitely have more makeup than I could ever need, but I don't have a lot compared to some. And then if you're somebody who has like a really small collection, I'd definitely like to see you try this because I think it's a fun challenge. So without further ado, let's just jump in to the first product, which would be primer. For primer, I chose NYX, bear with me. This is a fairly new primer to me. I'm not sure if I love it yet or not, but I do like it, so it is fun to try. Um, I just got this in my YouTubers Pick My Makeup Challenge, cruelty for YouTubers Pick My Makeup Challenge. Um, and it's like a, like a very gel-like, um, bouncy consistency. Then it's supposed to, um, what is this supposed to do? I forget. Hydrate and like lock on makeup. Yeah, it's this hydrating gel primer, but um, I'm pretty sure on the box it said that it was supposed to like grip primer, so. When you use it, there's like a chunk that it comes out, but it like settles back, so it looks like I've never used it before, but I definitely have in that video, and I think I've used it one other time. I don't love the way it smells. It smells very like chemically, and like alcohol, but there's no alcohol listed in the ingredients of this, so I don't know what it is I'm smelling but it definitely dissipates once you get it rubbed in the skin. It's just the initial, like in the container, that smells like that. Maybe it's the container itself, it could be. I don't smell it on my face, but I smell it in the container. It's a very nice primer, it's very cooling as well. It doesn't claim to be, but it definitely feels cooling on the skin. So I feel like I use more than I need, but I just like the way it feels. Okay. Step one is done, so we can cross NYX off the list. Yeah, you can definitely see it gives like a very hydrating look to the skin and it feels sticky. Not like super sticky, but you can definitely tell it's there. Um, for foundation, I am going with my tried and true, the e.l.f. HD foundation. I'm in need of getting a new one. We're getting pretty low there. That's like the only foundation that I ever use completely up. I've gone through like three. Most foundations I have for, for quite a while. Here's my brush. Okay. So I like to just squirt it on the brush like that, and then I dot it on the face. And I'm just like, not really a sponge person, mainly because A, I don't own a beauty blender. I do have a lot of sponges. I do have like some pure ones, it's really dirty and whatnot over here, but I've never tried the actual blendy, beauty blender, but I prefer a brush mainly because I think it's too, because I'm too lazy to get up while I'm doing my makeup and go <laughs> wet my sponge, but a brush works fine for me, so let me know down below, are you a brush person or a sponge person, or both? I see a lot of people do both. Sponges definitely do give off a really pretty finish too, but I'm lazy. Most days I'm too lazy to even do my makeup, so. I love this foundation though. It's like effortless and it looks really nice on the skin and it's six bucks, so I love that. So crossing e.l.f. off the list. Now let's do some concealer. For concealer, we're going with Tarte, the Shape Tape, everybody's favorite. Not my favorite, but I do really, really like this. Really need to get the Urban Decay Concealer again. It's been forever since I've tried it, but like I always say, that's my favorite one, the Naked Concealer. I need to try it again, like against the Shape Tape and see if it truly is my favorite anymore. But the Shape Tape is really good. I don't use a lot of it because it is a very full coverage concealer. I like to use it on the eyes as well, just taking whatever's left over. But just a little bit goes a long way with this concealer. 
you don't need to do the whole Instagram triangle thing with this because a little goes a long way. It's a very thick concealer, but it doesn't feel thick. It just looks, well, not even looks. Like when you put it on and blend it out, it feels thick, but it kind of sinks into the skin and you don't feel it anymore. Definitely doesn't look thick though. Here's a nice little highlight to the under eyes. And voila, there's Tarte. Now for powder, I'm going with another product that is pretty new to me, and that's the Too Faced Born This Way powder. I have literally not stopped using this since I filmed the um, Cruelty Free YouTuber Stick My Makeup Challenge. This was recommended to me by Kelly Gooch, and I love it. <laughs> like, I have not stopped using it. It's such a good powder, and it's like cold translucent, but it does have like a slight color to it. So it definitely helps um, with flashback, which I definitely appreciate. I don't take a lot of selfies, but you know, if I want to, I'm glad that I can use this one. So I just take this on a brush and kind of like stamp it into the face. I run it along the eye too to set that concealer. It definitely mattifies, like you guys can see the difference happening right before your eyes. Like there was, it was pretty shiny right here and now it's not, which I'm usually not a huge matte person because I have very dry skin, but this powder doesn't seem to accentuate any dry patches or dry my skin out any more than it already is. So really, really enjoy this powder. Okay, so that is Too Faced. Now, contour. My contour is an old, tried and true. We're going with the Kat Von D today. I've been using the NARS, or not NARS, wow. <laughs> I don't use NARS products. Um, NYX Cosmetics, um, Nabla, no, what? I'm mixing up so many brands right now. The NYX. Cosmetics um, Taupe Blush, the one that was recommended to me again in my Cruelty for YouTubers video. Um, I've been using that one quite a lot, but I already used NYX, so I can't use that one today, but I love, love, love that one. It is a blush, but it's a very good contour shade for someone who has very fair skin like I do. But I do, of course, love my Kat Von D contour too, because it is a tried and true for a reason. It's just so good. And this is still, I've had this for probably way too long. Um, there is a little divot there. I've definitely hit pan on both of these two shades. I don't use these shades hardly ever. Unless I use them for like shadow. But um, I've had this palette probably for like a couple years now. So I definitely need to get a new one. This is still the old packaging. That's how long I've had it. But... It still works great. It's not separating. The formula still performs the same as it always has. And it still looks good. There's not like any weird smells or any hard pan even. So I'm, I'm going to go with it till I can't anymore. <laughs> or until I run out of product, whichever comes first. I am very excited though because... Um, I'm glad I waited is what I mean to say because I don't use the other shades in the pan so I don't need to repurchase those but she did come out with like little duos so that I can just get the two that I use which I appreciate so I'll probably do that once I run out of these because I don't want to repurchase the whole pan again this is dark today I'm a little heavy handed I think <laughs> This side doesn't look as bad, but it's definitely a little much. So I'm gonna take a clean, fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with that white shade that's in the pan here. I'm just kind of run it over there. Mix it in with a little bit of the yellow too, just because this brush is not fitting in the pan very well. Run that along to kind of dissipate some of the powder that I don't need.
I think I've gotten too used to using the NYX one. The next one isn't quite as pigmented. Like it's definitely pigmented, but it's you build it up a little bit more than this one. So I kind of went in a little, little heavy there, but it's fine, it'll work. Now, let's go ahead and bronze the face. For bronzer, we are of course using my fave, which is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronze. Yep, yeah, Light Bronzer. Love this stuff. Need my brush. <laughs> If you guys could see my desk right now, you'd understand why I'm struggling so hard. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> so I've got like three videos to film right now, which kind of sucks because I'm about to take this makeup off as soon as I get done. But that's okay. It's my day off, so I gotta film as much as possible. Love this bronzer. It smells so good. It gives like the right amount of bronze without looking orange on my skin. Or looking like too much like my contour <laughs> I like to put this under the lip and kind of over the chin as well I did not contour my nose I need to redo that okay so going back into the Kat Von D because I forgot to contour my nose I'm a noob apparently I'm actually gonna just take the brush that I used yeah there's still some left over cool so we're just gonna use that to contour my nose. Ta-da, okay. Now, that's Physician's Formula. So going into blush, we're gonna be using Pixi. I wanted to use my Tarte blush, but I already used Tarte, so <laughs> couldn't do that. But I'm just gonna take this little guy here, and I'm just gonna like one, two in there, and put that on the cheeks. I'm not somebody who's like, crazy obsessed with blush. I like a light blush and this is one that is definitely pigmented so you gotta be careful with that. Like, yeah, like that. Like I look a little clownish right now but I don't know. I've just never been somebody who's like super into blush. It looks really pretty on other people but on me I feel like it just makes me look like a doll and not in a good way because I am such so fair. But that's Pixie. Let's do some brows. I'm going to be using yet another product from the YouTubers Pick My Makeup because I am in love with this one as well. I can't get it out of the box. Here we go. This is by ColourPop. This is the Brow Boss. I have the shade Dark Brown. I do wish I would have got something a little bit more red just because my hair right now is a little red. Like my roots definitely aren't, but my brows match my roots, which is good, but I feel like it just kind of sticks out more than I need to dye my hair really badly, color my hair, whatever, when my brows match my hair, my roots. You know what I'm trying to say here. Okay. So now we're just going to fill in the brows with this pencil. I'm not somebody who really gravitates towards brow pencils, like I usually use brow powder or that uh, brow cushion from, what is it, Iconic? Iconic London, London, I don't remember. Yeah, Iconic London, I usually use that, but I really like this pencil. I probably don't do it right. I feel like I use a lot of product and my brows still look pretty fake when I use this pencil, but that's probably because I use so much. But that's just the look I like, you guys. Like, I like the drawn on brow look. <laughs> what even was that, a motorcycle? So, maybe we'll stop there, just to make it a little bit less filled in than normal as I continue to fill it in, but okay. Switching to the other brow before I go way too hardcore. I feel like my brows are naturally pretty thick, so I just like to kind of fill in the sparse areas and then fill in the front because my front of my brow is like non-existent. But like the rest of the brow and the tail is pretty, pretty there. 
but this front part is where I struggle. I always struggle matching them too. Which is fine, like brows are our sisters, not twins. But like, I really want twins, you know? <laughs> good enough that's good enough okay so that was ColourPop now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face real quick just because I like to set my face before I apply highlight and then I'll set it at the end too so we're using cover effects for that one this is the illuminating setting spray I love the setting spray I definitely use a lot of setting spray, probably more than I should, but I feel like it just helps all the powders melt in the face, and then um, it gives a good base to like put the highlight on. But for highlight, I'm going to be using Revolution. Um, this is the Soap X Highlighter Palette, and I really enjoy this. Revolution is like an underrated brand in my opinion, some of their stuff is bomb. I'm going to mix the white shade and then this like, what do you call that? I don't know that end shade up here both the ends of on the top is what I'm mixing I'm just gonna pop that on the cheek there you know it's super pretty I'm gonna go into the darker of the two on the ends on the right more than the other one there goes the big check every time I film you guys Without fail, a big check goes by. These aren't like the most blinding highlights in the world, but they're really nice, especially for the price point. I think this is like 10 bucks for eight highlights. They're pretty, really pretty on the nose. I feel like this cheek doesn't take highlight as well as this cheek for some reason. Hit the cupid's bow and the chin, and then a little above the center of the brows. And that is Makeup Revolution. Revolution makeup, whatever it is. Now, let's go ahead and do some eyeliner. I'm gonna be doing a fun eyeliner today. This is by iTeeny, and it's in the shade Blue Hawaiian. So I'm going to just pop this in the waterline real quick. I feel like it's not showing up as good as it normally does. Ignore the weird face, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's definitely there. Hmm. Those pencils finally getting old, you guys. Like, it's taking a minute to build up. Normally it's just like pigment. Alright, well, it's there. It's pretty. I do enjoy this eyeliner. I think it's time I get a new one, I guess. Now for eyeshadow. I'm just realizing how many products I've been using from that video, and I'm sorry. But this guy. This is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. I'm really excited about this palette. I did use this again in that video, but there's so many more colors that I want to play with that I didn't get to play with. So we're going to do it again. Um, I think I'm going to go for like a green look this time. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a fluffy brush. And we're going to start with... I don't even know what to start with here. Let's go with electric, that pink color. We'll pick up some of that and we'll put that in the crease. I'm just going to have fun with this. This is a very like vibrant palette. There's not really like a lot of like transition-y shades. We're just gonna go for it, I guess. Such a good palette. 
I really, really liked the look that we did last time. We did, I did last time with this palette. So I'm excited to play more. Okay, now I'm going to pick up Ultimate, that like, I feel like that's what I did last time. Or the neon, the like Peridot color. And I'm gonna pick up a flat brush for that. I'm not gonna spray it first because I want to see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty pigmented. Hmm. So we're gonna spray it now just because I want to see the difference. Peridot is the gemstone for August, so I guess this is a good color to use today. So pretty. So far I have a very 80s vibe going on with this eye look. I'm just putting that about halfway, well about three-fourths way onto the lid and up to where the crease is. So that's a pretty shade, I like that a lot. Okay, now let's take Let's take swag, this like purple shade on like a fluffy pencil brush, but it's like a big one. I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. <sighs> this one's pretty powdery. Purple and green together is one of my favorite per color combinations. So we're just focusing that on the outer corner and then blending it into the crease a little bit as well. A nice purple shade. Purples are hard to get right. Like I feel like I use a lot of purples that I'm just not impressed with. This one's nice. There's that. It is pretty powdery though. There is quite a bit of fallout in the palette with this one, which is fine. Getting like poison ivy vibes from this, even though like she's not really purple, so I don't know why, but it's just what my mind is going to. Okay, now let's take let's take a little bit of dippy, which is the hotter pink of the two. I'm gonna go back in with that first fluffy brush that we used. I'm gonna work that in the crease. Oop, got some on the lid a little bit, that's okay make it work. Hmm. Very colorful. I'm gonna take a, another fluffy brush and I'm gonna just like um, not pick any more color up. But I'm gonna work that in the outer corner and in the crease. Just blend these two colors together a little bit more. Quite a bit from blending them. This is such a fun look. I like it. I feel like this side needs a little more purple, so we're gonna add some more. Take that clean brush and blend. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the neon color, the peridot ish color, that green. Put more of that on the lid just because I feel like it got a little bit lost in the blend. And I, I didn't want it to be like the focal point. There are so many looks that you guys could do with this palette, like this, so many looks. Honestly, you could even do something simple with this palette, because you could take like, Escape with a really light hand in the crease, and then um, Flash, that gold color, 
all over the lid, maybe a little candy on the lid, and then buff it out with hipster on the outer corner. And then if you really want to be like adventurous, you can put hippie in there too. But this is a very, very versatile palette. I really like this green shade too. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take Palooza, that like greenish blue color, on a pencil brush and I'm gonna buff that really close to the lower lash line. Kind of going over that eyeliner that we have down. Like so. Pretty. Now I'm gonna take another like small-ish brush and I'm gonna take Hippie, that orange shade. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> and I'm gonna buff that right underneath that blue. Kind of blending the two together. But also keeping it a little bit lower. And round that up. To meet the top of the lid too on the outer corner. Fun. I really like this look. It's very bold. Honestly this video was just an excuse to play this palette some more I think. focusing this right underneath that blue. I like this. I like this a lot. Still feel like I need more purple on this eye though, the left eye. It's just not taking right here where I want it to. You see what I mean with that like patch right there? Ugh. This eye always does that. I don't know why. It's just right there. It does not take color like I want it to. It's so obnoxious. See this eye? Fine. Okay. Now let's take... Hmm, do I want to do Spirit or Trixie? I feel like Spirit makes more sense. So we're going to take Spirit that like white shade there that's got like a blue reflect to it. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. It doesn't do a lot, but it is there. Let's fill that up a little bit more. There we go. And then on the brow bone as well. Just at the top part, and then underneath the tail, the tail. Pretty, I really like this look, you guys. This video is gonna be obnoxiously long, all because of that part. But I really like the way this turned out. It's very bold. So let's do some mascara for that. I never set my brows, you guys. <laughs> to set my brows, let's do that first. This is the Milani Brow Shaping Gel. We're using Milani. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the face again with that Cover Effect Setting Spray. like so. Now let's do mascara. I'm using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. One of my favorites. It's getting a little clumpy though. I have to get a new one of these soon too it looks like. I think I already do have a backup of this actually so that's good. Yeah, 
definitely getting a little clumpy here. Such a good mascara though. It's very, very black. And it definitely gives you a lot of volume. I hate how comfy this is right now. I feel like it's kind of definitely ruining the eye look. Okay. It's working fine on the bottom lashes. Yeah. How bad is that? Getting very upset. <laughs> this will be the true test because my left eye always takes mascara better. Takes eyeshadow worse, but mascara better. Make that make sense. Sorry for the awkward silence, you guys, but I'm really trying to focus on making this mascara look less comfy. I think that's truly a sign that I need to just trash this. Because I swear to you, it's normally not this bad. I feel like that's as good as we're gonna get it. It's not as bad as I think it is, I don't know. I'm also going to take some more of that Peridot shade, the neon shade from the palette and go back over that just because I feel like I got a little mascara up there. And this should cover it like that. There we go. Now, that's mascara. So for lips, I'm actually gonna do a lip liner today, you guys, just cause I wanted to make this video a little bit more challenging. I don't have too many lip liners. So I'm gonna be using the Bella Pierre lip liner in the shade Nude. Thankfully I picked a nude lip for this look here. Overlining the lips a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Why are you guys lucky you get two loud trucks in one video? Not the hugest fan of this lip liner, but that's okay because we're gonna cover it anyway. It's not really the color I don't love, it's just like the feel of it. It feels very thick. Which I mean, maybe it's normal for lip liners. I don't wear lip liner often enough to know, but. There is the lip liner. Now for lipstick, we're going to be doing a liquid lip from Lunar Cosmetics, or Lunar Beauty, excuse me. This is in the shade Daydreaming. I did just get this recently. 
And I'm very excited to play with it. I did try it on already, obviously, but... Oh, so pretty. I really like this formula. It never, like, fully, fully dries down, so it's always comfortable. being so awkwardly quiet you guys I'm sorry hmm. I don't know that I love this lip color with this eye look I may have needed something a little bit more nude like this is like a little bit too brown almost but it's pretty so it's fine and now for the last one we're gonna be using a lip gloss today just again so I could use more products and make this video better but we're going to be using the Alamar Cosmetics in the shade Coqueta. Coqueta? I can't speak Spanish, but I love this lip gloss. It's really pretty. The packaging is cute. And it is a really good nude shade. It matches the lip very well. Like, look how well that matches. You can't even tell that there's like a color over it. It just looks like the same color in gloss form. Which is what we were going for, so. Ta -da. Let's spray the face one more time. Ooh, and then we'll go over the products we just used real quick just to make sure we didn't cheat. So, we've got, let's get all the things out of this box. We did Makeup Revolution, BH Cosmetics, It Cosmetics, Itini, Bella Pierre, Milani, Tarte, Pixie, Lunar Beauty, All of My Cosmetics, Physicians Formula, Kat Von D. Da, 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 Too Faced, Elf, Cover Effects, and NYX. So we had no repeat brands, and this is the look that we came up with. Really digging the eye look. I think it's really pretty. It's very fun. I said it was giving me like um, Poison Ivy vibes, but I think that's actually more of like the Trickster vibes. That's what I'm feeling. But this lip color, I don't love with the look. That's my fault, but it's fun. And I think this is a really fun challenge. Let me know down below if you guys have seen this challenge done before. Let me know who did it so I can give them credit. And then if you guys wanna try this challenge, definitely tag me and let me see your videos and your recreation of this tag, especially if you have a smaller collection because it'll be fun. Also tag your favorite YouTubers in this and have them do it too, because I think it'd be so much fun. <laughs> so I mentioned I think it'd be fun. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. And if you guys want to hang out with me more, my Twitter and Instagram are, of course, linked down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.